This is section 32 from book 5 of Caesar's De Bella Gallico. And the trap, having been laid now for several sections of Caesar's narrative, is about to be sprung. And so the soldiers are, uh, they've spent all night packing up, they're tired, and there's a lot of dissension, a lot of uncertainty. But the enemy, after they sensed, and then your Mueller book has qualm as a separate word here. Um, so we can take plus day of qualms as is after, um, or qualm here as a separate word we can take as, it, as they sensed this, the setting out. Um, but nonetheless, after they, they understood what, what the Romans were doing, from their nighttime noise, and from the wakefulness concerning their setting out with traps placed on two sides be per tito in the forest uh, and then opportuno here with be per tito on two very opportune uh, sides very uh, very um, um, advantageous uh, sides and in a hidden place about two miles away, milli, millibus duobus possum, about two miles away, they awaited the arrival, or they were waiting for the arrival of the Romans. And when the larger part of our battle line had let itself, here says the object, had denisited itself, had lowered itself into a great valley. From each side of this valley, so Aeos Wallace, suddenly they revealed themselves, or they showed themselves. And Coipeirant here is the main verb, and they began to overwhelm now this is literally the newest, right, or the most recent. So what we mean here is the ones that that have most recently come into the valley, and that would be the ones in the back, right? Not the ones in the front who've been there for a while, but the ones who just got there. So the ones in the back. So they began to overwhelm the ones, the most, uh, the the ones in the in the in the rear, the most recent ones, and they began to prevent the ones in front, the first ones, from ascending out of the valley and they began to commit a battle in a place very unfavorable to our men. 